Hey guys, so this video is for uh, if you have a loose handlebar, like your stem is loose, or if you're trying to convert uh, what I'm doing here from a mountain bike handlebar uh, to a BMX handlebar. So uh, I already found some issues with this one. Um, I don't have the original uh, cap here. I don't know what happened to it, so I got to look for that. But I tried um, four of these caps from different uh, different bikes. Uh, none of them really, uh, none of them will fit. Um, they all have like a different amount of uh, uh, of uh, levels. Like uh, this one has uh, just a little bit. This one has a little bit. This one has a lot. So um, none of them actually fit. Uh, this one is from some kind of mongoose, and it kind of fits, but it still doesn't fit. So I just put this for demonstration. But let's say your handlebar, first of all, is all shaking on you. And this is for a threaded. These are a, a threadless, sorry, threadless headset. If you have um, threaded, I, I ha I'm going to make a video probably separate for that one. Uh, but Because uh, this is going to take too long if I do it, both of them. So, um, uh, first of all, what you want to do, leave that screw alone. And uh, loosen these ones right here. Normally, it's a five millimeter. So for this one, it, it doesn't actually fit. You need a, a much bigger one. So this one is, um, it says a uh, six millimeter. So I uh, basically first remove this. So on this specific one. It has two, a bolt on each side, so I already loosened mine up, and uh, then once you loosen those, you can loosen that top one. So this top one is uh, is uh, five millimeter normally. So uh, once that's loosened, uh, then then you could just uh, remove this screw here. And uh, just take that off. So uh, right now, uh, you can just take your your uh, handlebar right off your stem. Okay. So uh, what you what you don't want to do right now is put the bike upside down. You want to make sure there's pressure on on this assembly. Otherwise, you're going to lose all your bearings. So um, uh, these uh, these spacers. Um, you're going to have to get different sizes if you're changing your stem, right? And this bottom one, just keep in mind that it's going to be covered with grease from the bearings. It, it works its way onto that. So you want to use a, like rubbing alcohol and clean all this so there's no grease on this shaft. You want that perfectly clean. Um, so what you can also use if you don't have uh, uh, like enough spacers is I found if you go get some razor parts. This one is a, it's not a, a seat post because it's smooth on the inside. So you can adjust the screw and you can use this as a very large spacer. I've done that on my other bike. So uh, this uh, will give you a, a better than like so many little ones. Uh, if, if like I have enough spa spacers, but if you don't have enough, you can uh, do something like that. It has to fit though basically perfectly on that. Um, so if your bearing is like your, your handlebar is all loose, um, what it is is that... Uh, uh, your bearings have gone out of adjustment here so uh, what you want to do is is put back your your handlebar and uh, so for here this is not the right height or actually see you see the bearings have come out so just put this down so what you want to do is make sure that the bearings go back inside. There you go. So it's, it's slid back in. So that's why you got to be careful that you don't lose uh, your bearings here. Uh, even though it's on a, a ring, you're gonna if you try to put it upside down, you're gonna lose everything. Uh, okay. So right now, you want to make sure your spacing is uh, about a millimeter. You want that shaft from the fork to be a millimeter below. Uh, this thing preferably you don't want it like uh, like that You want it as close as possible without being the same level. You can't have it at the same level. Otherwise 
uh, uh, you're gonna have a loose handlebar again. So you need a little bit of space. Like I, I just put a millimeter or two millimeters from the top of this. That way your your little um, your little washer can uh, fit over the top. So like I said, this one doesn't fit properly. I gotta find the original one. But uh, right now you just want to tighten this uh, with your five millimeter to remove all the play from your your steering so and and you want to make sure that your your handle your your fork is turning freely also so you could hold it up in the air and uh, it's kind of hard for me because I'm, I'm holding the camera but you want to make sure it turns freely and, and it's not tight but also that there's not uh, too much play which is what you were trying to fix in the first place so uh, after you get it to where you want it just tighten up these bolts make sure your handlebar is straight and tighten up all the bolts normally there's just two on this side but this one has one here and one on the back on the back side so um, tighten those two and uh, you can hitch you can hit your brakes and see if there's that play uh, if the play is gone if not then then loosen these back up and readjust the screw this screw that's all it's for it's for adjusting your bearings you don't want this too tight because then it's going to be hard to turn it's going to ruin your uh, lower the life of your bearings you want this very free your steering to be very free uh, and that'll prolong your bearing and at the same time not too much play so once you get this uh, in adjustment where you want it you tighten this these two screws are holding to your uh, fork this screw has nothing to do. You can remove this screw after. Uh, uh, the only thing clamping your, your stem to your fork is this white piece. Uh, I mean, these two screws are clamping. This has nothing to do with clamping. So don't try to tighten this thing. While these are already tightened, you're going to strip this screw. Uh, because they're using a special kind of like a fitting inside this fork shaft. that it, it, It's not actually welded to the fork. It's kind of just like pressed in. So if you over tighten this... You're, you're going to mess up that little star wheel that's in there. Um, so, uh, this uh, I'm going to make another video for uh, threaded headsets. Uh, okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.